on this edition of Total OS. Today we will be taking a look at the brand new Linux Mint 9 Isadora. This is the brand new release candidate. I just finished downloading it, burned it onto a CD. I have not tested it or anything like that. I am running this for the very first time inside a virtual box using good old Windows XP so let's see what we got here it's just ready to boot up as you can see I have uh, and I am using the previous edition of Linux Mint and uh, I think for Windows users who are trying to migrate from Windows to Linux or like to try a Linux distribution. I believe that Linux Mint is the number one choice um, in my opinion. Okay, the CD is still booting, so let me just pause this and we will continue. Okay, uh, I am booting Linux Mint Isadora off the live CD, and as you can see we have a very bright green sunburst of color, which I think looks pretty cool. And we have the taskbar at the bottom, today's date and time. Alright, we have computer, mint home, and install Linux Mint. So let's just install it and see what happens. I do like the new uh, wallpaper. Looks very nice. I think it's uh, a lot nicer than the previous uh, default wallpaper from uh, Linux Mint 8. Of course, that can be always, you know, changed. So that's no big deal. Alright, we're coming up to the install screen. Step one of seven. Welcome, ready to install? Yes, click forward. Alright, setting up the clock. Yes, New York for the time server is fine. Click forward. Okay, keyboard layout, we'll just leave it at USA, click forward. In case you did not know it, uh, Linux Mint does play media out of the box, so you will not have to go hunting for media codecs. Alright, prepare disk space. Where do you want to put Linux Mint? Let's, uh, since we're using a virtual box, we'll just erase and use the entire disk option. Click forward. I 
I've been using uh, Linux Mint on one of my uh, ThinkPad laptops and uh, it runs absolutely flawlessly. Very well done uh, Linux distribution so far. What is your name? Well, I'm just going to type in um, total OS password. Just keep it simple since I won't be keeping it in a virtual box for too long. Of course, the strength of the password is too short, but that's okay. And the name of my computer will be total OS dash desktop click forward. Ready to install? I think so. Click install. Alright, installing system. So far so good. It says welcome. Thank you for choosing Linux Mint. And away at the bottom it says we hope you'll have a wonderful time with Linux Mint and that you'll enjoy using it as much as we did developing it. I have a feeling this is going to go through very, very smoothly if the last distribution is any indication. All right, you can see the progress bar uh, here at the bottom, creating the partition, 5% done. Uh, standing on the shoulders of giants. Linux Mint is a Debian-based Linux distribution derived from and compatible with Ubuntu. Our innovations, the rapid, de rapid development of Ubuntu, and the huge Debian package selection make Linux Mint one of the most attractive desktop operating systems. I agree. At home, Linux Mint is the fourth most widely used desktop operating system behind Windows, Mac OS, Ubuntu, and uh, then as Linux Mint. I know it at uh, it just went to the next screen here. Out of the box, Firefox, Thunderbird, OpenOffice, of course, uh, other popular applications, Skype, Picasa, Google Earth, Opera. Opera is a very fine browser, by the way, for both Windows and Linux. Linux Mint is compatible with most popular file formats: zip, PDF, RAR, MP3, Windows Media. Video, an alternative to mainstream operating systems. Linux Mint is easy to use, powerful, and configurable. I agree. Linux Mint is safe and stable, of course. Linux Mint can detect other operating systems and install itself beside them. Yes, it can. And as you see here at the bottom, copying files, 23%. This is uh, zipping right along inside a virtual box. By the way, just to let you know, I set the RAM, I allocated the RAM setting inside the virtual box for Linux Mint at just 512 megabytes of RAM just to see how smooth it would run. And so far, it's running pretty smooth. Okay, Linux Mint 9 will receive updates until 2013. Looks like you have some kind of ancient Roman shield here to the right to symbolize, I guess, security updates. The Linux Mint community is one of the best on the internet. Linux Mint users are usually happy to share their passion and enthusiasm. Well, I'm sharing mine right now. And the installation will finish soon. Have a lot of fun with Linux Mint. Uh, Linux Mint is my number one choice right now when it comes to uh, an alternative to Microsoft and Ubuntu right now is number two. Copying files, 27% done. 